Hello guys, my name is Soner. In today's video, we're gonna build a rig for this bad boy, which is Lumix GH5. I don't want to talk too much in the beginning because I'm gonna explain a lot of things about this rig. So let's get started. We're gonna first install the Tilta cage, which is made for GH5 or GH5S series. There is a lot of things I like about this cage. First feature I like the most about this cage is this HDMI extension setup. With this extension cable, we are able to take the HDMI out from the GH5 and deliver it top of the cage, which is easy to access. And also metal bars are protecting the HDMI port while this HDMI socket is inserted to GH5. So this cage is protecting it basically. All the holes and the cold shoe mounts, I like all of them and the build quality of this cage is really nice it's not heavy it's well coated it looks premium in my opinion so let's get started by installing our gh5 to this cage and now we can see that hdmi port is well secured with this bracket and the hdmi out is actually now on top of the cage and as you can see all the buttons are accessible with this cage which i like the most i saw on the internet some people was complaining about the on off switch i don't think there is so big of an issue so let's continue to build our rig let's put our lens first i'm using sigma 18 to 35 this is a canon mount ef mount lens in order to attach the sigma 18 to 35 to the gh5 we need an ef to micro four thirds adapter you can use a regular one but with a regular adapter your camera will not speak with the lens so i recommend getting one speed booster i'm using wiltrox speed booster so let's put first that to the gh5 one thing I don't like about this with truck speed booster is there is a little bit of a play. I'm not sure if you're able to hear that. But there is a little bit of a play and I dislike it actually quite much. I think in the meta bones there is not so much play. So if you want to get rid of that problem, you can go for meta bones. So Sigma 18 to 35 is in. Now we can start attaching our focus rings. I ordered to myself Tilton Nucleus Nano Follow Focus System and it comes with these uh, focus rings and I hate these. These notches are really annoying in my opinion and that's why I ordered actually these dudes. And these are basically focus rings which it has numbers on it for example this one is 75 to 77 millimeter ring which fits the sigma 18 to 35 i should have put these actually first but it's not so big deal we can still put these i ordered this front one bigger actually i think if i remember correctly this is 77 till 82 and it, it's way much more easier to put because sigma 18 to 35 i believe this side is smaller than this side so then you will not have any issue while installing these so 75 to 77 to back and 77 to 82 to front i ordered and you can find all these products down in the description if you want to check them out and order them disclaimer if you order anything from those links i will get a small commission it will not cost you anything but it will only support my channel so now we have the focus rings we can start attaching the rod to hold the focus motor all right it's nice and secure now we can put our focus handle so basically what i have done is i have ordered tilta gh5 type c cage and nucleus nano follow focus system so i will explain why I went with this setup and as i was saying you can check down in the description those products and also you can find 
links up in the description i will put them when i'm mentioning those products i did review for each individual product so you can check them out there so with the tilted type c gh5 rig you get this focus handle and some of you guys were asking do i like this product uh, because i made already a video about this type c cage and i cannot talk about it enough actually because some people were asking if i like the focus wheel i actually like the better than this the one reason is it's really smooth and it's hard to turn it so then i'm able to control focus nicely so for those of you guys i really like this handle and i also will explain what features i like about this uh, handle so this handle works with mpf 550 battery so you just put that inside and then it's ready to go another feature i will show right away about this when you insert this in it will not go inside so there is a pin here so you just have to click this pin and it will slide inside and it will not come outside whatever you do sorry for the noise but uh as you can see it it, it will be secure so if you want to take it out you have to press the, this pin and then then you're able to take it outside let's put this back again you have to press the pin it went in and also there is a secure wheel over here and then it will be nice and tight over there it's already ready to go handheld you can do steady shots with this setup already if you don't want to purchase the nucleus nano follow focus system you will be able to have a nice grip on your gh5 with this focus handle and plus the wrist brand you will have a nice hold of it let's put our focus motor and then i will explain why i like nucleus nano focus handle this motor comes in nucleus nano follow focus system and plus the this rod and also this wheel you can check the video if you want to see my unboxing about this product so let's put this motor this cable actually this cable doesn't come with the nucleus nano follow focus system this cable comes with the Tilta type c cage with this handle and i'll explain why i like this cable in a second so let's put it back to our motor it says for the motor on the cable that you will not get any confusion so let's put this in and attach it to the lens tie it down and once it's secured we can do some cable management at least we can try to for now of course we can arrange it later but let's try to deal with it right now i will do a couple of turns to this road and then i will attach that to the focus handle and after that this other cable goes to the gh5 itself but i will not put that just yet because for the cable management we need to attach this handle and i also like this handle quite much i like how it feels in the hand and you can put it this way or this way to your gh5 it depends what kind of setup do you have what kind of lens you have i usually use it like this so let's put it in let's screw it down and as you can see it's well balanced already so now we can install this part which i like also that i will explain why let's take this handle a little bit back so this will go a little bit more inside and then we can lock it and secure it this is gonna tend to go forward so you have to be careful after this point that if you don't want to hurt your lens those rods also come with the tilted type c cage also this comes with the type c cage so basically you get the cage handle and focus handle this down part and the rods These rods will hold lens to fall down, so that's why I want to put them right now. 
but we're gonna fix them again. Let's keep it like this for now. Now we can put our remote cable. So I want to show you why I like this handle. If you open your GH5, let's open the focus handle as well. So I'm not sure if you're able to see the screen well, but I will try to move it closer. So if I press this record button, GH5 will start recording as well. This I like a lot. I cannot stress it enough how much I like it because when I'm shooting, then I can just press the button and I stop the recording and then press the button again and start recording. It's really easy. I don't need to try to find the record button on the GH5. The button is easy to handle. I cannot press this accidentally because it has this kind of how can I describe it? It's like a little bit inside, so there's not going to be an accident on that for sure. And the focus wheel is really smooth. Here you can see that play that I was meaning. When I move it, the lens will, as you can see, move a little. This I hate right now. I have to get one adapter to hold the speed booster in place to get rid of this problem so i recommend getting that piece and i will put that also down in the description if you want to check it out now we can i think install our v-mount battery so let's take the roads a little bit backwards so we're gonna need some space and this is how i do it i just hold it like this the Philips screen and I pull the roads as much as I can. I want to be able to open this flip screen. That's why I do this. So I open it. So this is like a measurement for me. Then I can place my V-mount adapter. Actually, let's secure these roads first. Then it will be easier, of course. As I was saying, you can find all these installed parts down in the description if you want to check them out, guys. So, let's also squeeze this guy in. There's actually too much space right now. We can get rid of this space by just moving these rods further. I think this is fine, so we can squeeze it again. So there we go, this handle is moving, so let's secure it. So now I'm able to open or close my flip screen, which I really like actually, because I do it a lot when I'm behind the camera. So I want to show you another piece of equipment I really like, and it's this one. So this is a NPF to V-mount converter. So what it does is, I have so much these MPF batteries guys, so we know that V-mount batteries are expensive, so if you don't want to invest on those and if you already have these MPF batteries hanging around somewhere, then you can just order this piece of equipment which is costing around, I think it was like 15 bucks. Uh, if I recall correctly, I will try to put it down in the description also to this item. So then you're able to attach your MPF batteries and use them as a V-mount battery. I think this is really handy converter to just use these MPF batteries, which I have a lot. And I don't need to invest on the V-mount batteries. Or if you have V-mount batteries, of course, you can just put that in. So now we have almost all the setup that what we need for the GH5. So I'm using as a monitor, as a field monitor, the uh, Ninja. I also did a video about this. You can also check it up here somewhere. So let's put this bad boy in. I have this U-Rig called shoe adapter for the Atomos Ninja. I also like a feature on this, which is this array pin. Then it's secure to use the Atomos Ninja we there will not be any unscrewing going on it's nice and secured so now our Atomos ninja v is also attached to the the rig 
and we can put the HDMI cable in. I also got this cable, which is quite cheap. I believe I got this for 10 bucks and it's able to deliver 8K information. I can highly recommend getting some third party product if you don't want to invest $60 on a Atomos cable. You can find, I think, in Amazon, which doesn't, you know, cost a kidney. Alrighty, so we're almost done, guys. We just need to put our uh, power source to Atomos Ninja. So we have this adapter which goes to Atomos Ninja, which comes with the package actually. And after we install that to the Atomos Ninja, Atomos Ninja lacks 12 volts. So let's beat that bad boy. 12 volts that it likes. Oh my god, what is this cable management? Let's fix this. This looks horrible. Alrighty. I think we are pretty much done with the rig. We just need one more piece, and which is gonna feed our GH5. It's this bad boy. So we basically take a battery outside of the GH5. Or at least try to. And then put this in. And make sure that you attach it to correct port on the V1 battery. So as you can see, we have power on the GH5. Now as you can see with these MPF batteries, we are able to power the GH5 and plus the Atomos Ninja V and we can always replace these MPF batteries and then continue shooting. It's way much more better than just switching these batteries and also switching the uh, Ninja V batteries separately. We can just deal with these batteries which is on the back and then it's way much more easier to handle power management on this rig and on a tripod this can be the perfect studio setup and you can always get rid of this down plate by just taking the gh5 out and then it will turn a handheld rig so i can highly recommend this setup who is on the market to rig their gh5 if you have the budget i can highly recommend this tilta type c rig which comes with this handle and then you can buy this v mount to your type c cage and then you're able to use this as a studio setup and it will be really handy and i really like this setup quite much i cannot stress this enough so that's it for today guys i hope you like this video crush the like button if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to see more this kind of content thanks for watching and you can always ask down in the description any questions that which you have in your mind and see you guys in the next one